Asteroid Demos 875. For billions of years, this hunk of rock just sat here in the most godforsaken quadrant of the universe. It just sat here cooking up its special blend of Promethium. An energy source so powerful it can fuel an entire planet. Or blow it to hell. Our science pukes back home sent out thousands of probes to search for this crap. And once we found the mother load, shit, everything changed. We arrived first and laid claim to the rock. Now it was our rock, our Prometheum. And business was good. Then the Varus arrived. Sure, they looked different than us. But they wanted the same goddamn thing. And lots of it. At first, it looked like we'd all get along just fine. But then something happened. And things got ugly. Real ugly. Those bastards attacked and we got the shit kicked out of us. Sure, we fought back. But it didn't go so well. Now? Now the Varus have gone underground. Cut off all communication. So the UE is sending us in to bury this place. Because if we can't have it, nobody can. Let the fun begin. plan here we use the element of surprise to sabotage as much of the refinery as we can and get the hell out before the Vorus even know what hit him no heroics get in poke around pull out no heroics sounds like your idea of a perfect date <laughs> very funny Jack all right you mothers by the power vested in me by UE command make an official log the call to lay down arms has gone unanswered. This is Dr. Karen Matheson to anyone who may be listening. All of this is just one big terrible mistake and and not not figuratively. I mean Now if you're hearing this, there still may be hope. You must find all the logs I left around the station and send them back to UE command as proof. They need to understand and I need my family to know that I did everything I could. I don't know what I'm Dr. Karen Matheson. Yeah, I remember her from the staff roster. Her logs may be the key to making heads or tails out of this shit. Agreed. Need to find more. Five headshots! Whole lot of them down here. UE were monitoring space around the rock, and only a couple of freighters arrived since Voris took control. Which begs the question, where's all the muscle coming from? Iris, dead end. Stand by. I'm hacking the central grid. No intrusion nerve gas this time, if you please. That was years ago, and an honest mistake. Meaning? Just blow it. Now you're talking. Beyond this door. Look for field distortions due to movement. 
In English. Headshot streak. Damn things as volatile as my axe. Refined orange promethium can output absurd quantities of raw energy, while the blue variant is raw and largely harmless. Responds only to high pressure buildup. So does my axe. <sighs> okay. I cannot believe I'm doing this. My name is Karen Matheson. I'm the chief scientist assigned to oversee the Prometheus One project by the United Earth Council. I'm 35. Oh, no, 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 that's that's irrelevant. Um, I am an MIT grad. I majored in nanoscience. Got involved with the UE space program straight out of college. Well, they haven't been paying for my education since my freshman year. And this is what I wanted, so... Anyway, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. But to be honest, you know, if you're looking for something with more scientific merit, dear listener, I'd say you're a little bit fucked. Not only Major Tom is lonely up in space. Asteroid Demos 875. It's where we are now, by the way. A bit of history is in order, I suppose. No one really knows who spotted it first, since UE engineers hardly ever get credit for their work. You know, it's all a collaborative effort for the good of mankind and all that. We've known for quite some time that a single, extremely rare isotope of Prometheum, dubbed NX-01, exists on this rock. What's so special about it? Without going into too much detail, a cupful can power a million citizen city for a month. We barely get a whiff of it today. And now Demos is finally in our reach. From what I can see, the Vorans are pretty busy moving the Prometheum around. I wonder why they don't just organize transport back home. That's what we're gonna find out. like a dorm party rolled through. Doesn't make sense to just wreck the place up. Some equipment was bound to be adaptable to their tech. We need to dig deeper. Head for the pumping station. I spent the last three months in a temp facility on the asteroid. But today, the main research station coupled with the mine was finally open for business. This is a relief because the atmosphere here, well, habitable, doesn't exactly do wonders for my well-being. Oh, and by the way, I love my new laboratory. Sorry, I had to say it. 20 years of sharing clothes with your male siblings does that to you. Anyway, back on topic. I received the first samples of NX-01 two days ago. And naturally, I haven't slept since. This element is the single most fascinating turnover in my career. Preliminary tests show that, that it could self-replicate given a favorable environment. And if so, humanity might have finally hit the jackpot.
briefing stated a Vora science team was stationed here alongside infantry. The grunts are still here, so where are the eggheads? <sighs> Maybe the big boys got hungry and ate them. Be on the lookout for more logs from Dr. Matheson, and we might get some answers. So, how was it? First contact, you ask? Pretty okay. Sorry if you were hoping for a more enthusiastic recap, but I came here to research high-fidelity isotopes. Not shake hands with aliens. Me, two senior army officers, and the facility administrator were sent in to make peace with the Indians. Tall, bulky, humanoid. All heavily armed and male, I think. We encountered a few of them kneeling over a Prometheum rift joining hands. Not a very good start to interrupt a prayer session, but after the initial amusement, they took a few steps back, waiting for our move. A few terrifyingly long minutes passed in silence. And I remembered having a spare test tube in my pocket, so without further ado, I walked over, took a small sample from the rift, and offered it to them. Hey, I was getting cold standing there. The Boris exchanged a few grunts, and I was sure that they were gonna eat us alive. But no. They took the tube and exchanged it for their portable drilling gear, which nearly flattened me. Start the white smoke. Stuck to a pop gun, Junior. Iris, I see the pumping station. Stand by for some fireworks. Acknowledged. This puppy has seen its last drop of Prometheum. Standing between our species. It took a while, but it seemed the Vores were as eager to talk as we were. As Jerry put it, they have a delightful language based on the simple principle of always branching out from the word want. After we nailed down the basics on paper, a few of our engineers programmed a simple verbal translator. First real test run is tomorrow, as the Vores want to send emissaries. What the hell happened to the lights? Looks like the pumping station generator's failure caused a surge within the economy. Luckily, your EMP sensor should cause interference with the pre-refined Prometheum gas and enable you to see, to some extent. Something fantastic happened today. I don't want to sound like a teenager, 
finally getting an invite to the prom, but the Boris delegation offered their help with NX-01 development. Apparently they had quite a head start and have a much wider grasp of the capabilities. I think seeing that we were here first, they want to collaborate, splitting the output 50-50. That's a pretty good deal in my book. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to get the Nobel Prize for advances in nanoscience, but let's be realistic. Earth needs this sooner rather than later. Oh, uh, right, the Voris gave us one condition. The tech must be used solely for industrial development and not warfare. They couldn't or wouldn't explain why this was so important to them. We're waiting for an answer from UE Council. Let's hope this doesn't flop. You should be able to reach the upper level platform with your zip line. Good news. We received a green light from home. We were ordered to establish a working relationship with the Boris and assess what their tech can actually do. Then brief the UE Council in one week's time. An official representative will be sent from Earth to formally sign an agreement with them. Provided they deliver, of course. And speaking of representation, the aliens send one of their own. Her name is Karka. And it is a she, nearly half the size of a male Boris warrior, but makes it up with the huge headdress and robes a 15th century Chinese emperor wouldn't say no to. Oh, and get this, she's the high engineer, supposed to help integrate their tech into ours. Go figure. will sugarcoat everything that happens on Earth. And it's not a pretty sight. The Arab League is threatening to torch the last drop of oil on the whole planet. And again, our good socialist UE state responded with the whole explore every option for the good of mankind rhetoric. Assholes. We are up to our knees in shit. Global markets collapsing one by one, poverty spreading rampant. And the only thing that they can think about is how to wind each other up like kids in preschool. <sighs> we need Prometheum. And fast. We started work on the merging process. Okay, I will admit that I had Karka all wrong. I think the priestess outfit was just for show. As soon as she hit the lab, she changed into working clothes and went straight to it. I don't even think she sleeps. One evening, I caught her sipping from a test tube. She looked at me and said, Kaolinite. Kaolinite is a kind of uh, silicone-rich clay, eatable in theory. So I took her to the kitchen and made my famous pasta a la ketchup, because that's the only thing I can cook since campus that doesn't spontaneously combust. And then we talked. Apparently, Vora's society is strictly dual in nature. Men safeguard the species and women develop it. No patriarchy or anything. Everyone is in the same boat. But why is it so important that we don't use their tech for any kind of weaponry? It is religion. It is taboo, she said. Fine by me. UE Brass arrived today, which means a whole bunch of army ships and a Colonel Peyton put in charge of the negotiations. It's been three months since we started to integrate Boris tech into our own. We now have a fully functional mine and refinery processes NX-01 into its fullest, most atomically dense state. We're gonna take the Boris up on their offer then, I guess. Peyton wants the senior facility staff to attend a meeting at 1600 hours to discuss orders from Earth. I wonder what they'll cook up this time. That console operates the drill's cooling systems. Access the admin mainframe and disable their routine. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna hit these keys at random. Oh, uh, and now you trigger the defense mechanism. Uh, I missed the time. You just typed in run, and it did. Heads up, turrets. One down. Um, no. Since our computer system will trigger a system-wide purge and security. 
That's awesome. Are you getting this? Running the imaging through the database now. I can already tell you. It's a vector class frigate. He's right. Looks like it was stripped down previously and they're re-outfitting it now. Now what the fuck for? Worst idea for a shipyard ever. That's what I'm gonna find out. Kodka opened up to me. I can't help feeling resentment towards Peyton and the likes of him in UA Command. And to myself for hiding the truth from her. We've already managed to modify a few of our infantry weapons like the EL-05 minigun to focus and shoot impact particles of NX-01 the size of a fist. The process the Boris have given us can easily be adapted to refine raw Promethium in the gun's barrel. That's only the proof of concept phase. Wait till we get a hold of the bigger arsenal. Somewhere deep inside, I already know. We'll end up just like them. Is this karma, or am I just that... <sighs> sleepy? I dug something up. According to Army Intel, Vector-class frigates are most often used to resupply Boris destroyers. Destroyers here? Uh-uh. Bullshit. We've encountered them only once since first contact, and I can see no reports of sightings anywhere in the system. That dares it. No extraction for now. We need some solid intel on what the Vors are really doing down here. Oh, God, this is just great. I've fallen asleep in the weapons research laboratory, and Kotika found me. When I woke up, she just stood there looking at me. Disappointed? Angry? Before I understood what had happened, she stormed the place and started tearing everything apart. It took me a while to calm her down and to not alert security, but still rattled, she yelled at me, saying if her people found out, I would be executed on the spot. Then she took off. I feel like a traitor. She's not even the same species. System, right? Yes. Nearest station is just up ahead. Perfect. Front row seat is what I need. Multiple signatures detected. Brace yourself. They'll be on you like flies. I'm all alone again. Cut it out for the most part. I'm all the way in her corner. You didn't tell anything to the people off the I can still feel my head sitting firmly on my shoulder. The way she looked at me. I remember Faye. The exact same look when I told her that she had to stay with her father for the duration of it. Chris and I are divorced. The same reason as you no doubt have to Would I have done it differently if I could have a rerun? No. I'm doing this for them. Both of them. I don't blame Chris, and I hope he finds someone more suitable to family life than someone who just got knocked up and lived through it. Yep. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. My work is my partner. But God, she's a real bitch right now. Cheers. at last. No rest for the wickedly awesome. Shit. Oh, Nelly. Fucker's fast. You don't 
I'll say. Let's see it go through this. Not gonna let me go, huh? Have it your way. Space left in your rusty guts for a logic unit, was there? Besides, it'll take a month to get the UE fleet here. We need to take them down, here and now, while they're vulnerable. Those ships never came up on our radar. That means they've made an FTL jump straight into the rock. The precision it took to pull that off must have bled the ships dry of Prometheum. That's why they've been so mum lately. They're refueling. Seriously, Jack. What can we do other than die trying? Raw Prometheum reacts to high pressure, right? How about a Boris mothership crashing at 10 G's? Bye-bye, Boris fleet. They see the fireworks back on Earth. Let's get to it. Iris, calculate a route to the station's docking tower. Um, Jack? What? There's a reason for this track being blocked off. Look, say the rails are only half built. Now you tell me? Time to jump ship. Gah! Heads up next time. Car transmission is shot. Brace for impact. Yeah. Not again. Goddamn public transport. Chest beating and such a glass chin. We'll have to find an alternate route to the docking tower. Stand by. Schematics are all in Boris since they were the ones handling manufacturing. Mother of all hangovers. So good my patio is glassed because it always rains on this godforsaken asteroid. Oh. Hold it together, Karen. I just wish. 
council would respond to my messages. I mean, they are in way over their heads here. Just look at the Vor soldiers doing their training. So much devotion. Now they're preparing for ritual cleansing after using their guns, I believe. Judging from how much damage they inflict when they spar with each other, I don't think I want to see it. Just how big the disaster to their home planet must have been to transform ruthless warmongers to these disciplined warriors. And if we continue down this path, can Earth hope to survive the same? Who <laughs> this guy was? <laughs> he used to hide himself under a cardboard box and walk around the base. They kick us, man. <laughs> True story. Keep looking. Docking stabilizers on the control. Take me. Closer to the surface. You're shitting me. This ain't no moon landing, Iris. Don't worry, your pretty little jarhead. I found a spacesuit you'll like. Seeing a large open area. Docking bay of sorts. Welcome change of scenery. Hold on. Obstruction detected. Terrific. What kind? The stomping shooting kind. What else? Play rough? Let's play rough. Saw that one. Marines call it the big toaster. As a pair of surface to air launchers, it can really cause a mess. They shouldn't be effective at ground level. If by effective you mean accurate, then not so much. Ooh. Apparently a software glitch makes them go berserk and fire off salvos right and left. That's why the Vorus never bothered to do anything about it. That big trash can's effective in its own right. Wiring will do that. Still no closer to that damn tower. 
Send you out a backup scenario. I'm all ears. There's your scenario. Good girl. Let's see what we have here. Control stick, power grid, pretty straightforward. You need help deciphering these buttons. Left stands for low on down, and right, hit them hard. Gotta love the voice of sense and simplicity. something fierce in here. Um, we may have a small problem, though. Fuck me, you call that small? It's a good thing you're not a real woman. Are you a real man? Did you two stop and tell me how to deal with this thing? He may look the part. The log suggests it's an unfinished prototype built on the same basic principle as the others. Use your suit's firepower. First weapon, then armor. Then you can fly the core. Yeah, we both failed. 
They only let us in on account of our physical. Man's gotta play to his strengths. to do better than that, alien brains. We need to skip two floors to get to the cargo bay leading up to docking. Get a move on. alternative to hanging around that decaying planet of ours. I could do something more productive than waiting around to be shot. Why not? I've detected a manual override of the elevator's controls. You should be able to exit via the maintenance catwalk, though. Can you restart them? Manual override, as in with a blunt instrument directly to the knock, console. Knock. Time for some sabotage of our own. Release the tower's docking clamps. It's working. The gravity vortex is starting to suck the mothership in. They've engaged the thruster engines. You've got to knock out their main power core before the stabilizers overheat, or the whole plan goes to hell. Working on it. Do you have an entry point yet? Yeah, but you're not going to like it. I bet. We'll get back to that. Get to the cargo bay. The situation has deteriorated rapidly in a matter of hours. Kark and I have split from the main group and not a moment too soon. They were attacked by two Vor Centurions and accompanying warriors. All of the soldiers were killed and the remaining civilians herded away. The plan right now is to hide out until things calm down enough to make a run for the shuttle bay. We've always had a few on standby, ready for a quick launch in case our sensors detected a Prometheum spike. Once we clear the asteroid's orbit, we can send out an SOS to command. Admittedly, not the best escape plan in human history, but it's the only thing we've got. Imagination, Buster Brown. The hell are you supposed to be, Fatso? That last line of defense before we send the mothership to Kingdom Come. <laughs> Looks more like the local pisshead if you ask me. I'll kick your small fleshy ass. You can barely lift your leg. Take five. 
Insertion port. Exhaust port. As in engine, exhaust port? I didn't get all the way here to end up as fried chicken. I'm not about to lose this fight now either. The board's overheated the thrusters trying to break from the gravity vortex. Shake a leg and the only thing you'll have to worry about is a sauna treatment. Six treat? No, four days the other way. The board's taken over most of Prometheus 1 now. Mopping up any stragglers left and tearing out our hardware. Probably to install there. Going back and forth between thinking whether any of my friends and colleagues made it, and how tired and hungry I am. Karka, on the other hand, brings calm and compassion, like a Buddhist monk knowing that Nirvana may be just around the corner. When I asked her about it, she said it's time we acted. After much debate, we've decided to use body bags to board the mothership. The forest. Avoid interacting with the dead as much as possible, so we, we should make it. Once on board, we'll, we'll attempt to get to Karka's private lab and not an SOS from there. You think I'm crazy for doing something like this, instead of sitting around starving. And Earth needs to know what's happening here. Catwalk to the left. Jack, we've served together for a long time. You know going down that rabbit hole could be a one-way ticket. We'll get soft on it now. We'll be smoking cigars in no doubt. Can't wait, brother. Jack, comms check. Read you loud and clear. Give me a route straight to their collective ass so I can kick it out of this galaxy. Spoken like a true patriot. You've got it the other way around. You need to go through the shaft. Uh, yeah. Stop it, Ray. Ventilation shaft. Clear it and reach main security. Then we go for the heart. Sounds equally breathtaking. We've been successful in avoiding Vorse patrols as we were able to squeeze in between the capsule bodies of the dead Vorse warriors. I'm not gonna touch further on the subject. Sneaking around the ship, we've come across the cleansing of the captured science team. The term would suggest something more sublime than it actually was. A dagger to the throat. As I watch, the people I lived and worked with for so long lined up and slaughtered. I know I have to try and send out that signal. Okay, we've made it to Kartika's lab through countless ventilation shafts and crannies. Remarkably, everything is left intact. I've compiled a small message, tiny enough to hopefully go unnoticed or, or, or be taken for, for white noise due to miscalibration but containing UE's header so that when it bounces off solar Morden waves, one of our ships will pick it up. Maybe. Unfortunately, I, I can't fit in the recording of Peyton's conversations, but a copy of it is in my quarters, safe for your review. At least some degree of... Oh, oh shit. I... No! How many of you fuckers are there? This relationship is just oh. below you. Shoot the calendar. Mega kill. I... I need to catch my breath. It was Peyton. I can't believe that bastard survived. Did he hide in that lab the whole time? God, what does it even matter now? He... Karko rushed him. It nearly drew a metal pipe through my skull. A few passing guards took notice and stormed in. I, I barely got out of there. She's dead. Karko, I'm so sorry. 
Let me guess. They've dug in on the other side. Pretty much. So predictable, it will hurt. Days pass like weeks. I'm so exhausted I don't even pay attention to the noises. It's just a matter of time now. I'm going to review and store some of my research on NX-01. I still have the strength to talk. That way maybe I'll have some closure. Some sense that this was not in vain. Even if nobody ever hears this. I... I wanted to say something to you, Faye. It's not likely that you'll ever hear this, but in the event that you do, I want you to understand. I don't know how they'll portray these past events in the media. Will the government make martyrs out of us all, or bumbling idiots? The truth is, the blame lies somewhere in between. The retaliation from the Vores was brutal and unrelenting. Maybe even unjust for us going back on the deal. Or maybe it's not right to perceive the world by our fixed standards. God knows they haven't been that high throughout our history. To their credit, Boris tried to resolve the situation as best as their strict doctrine allowed. And only time will tell if rejecting Prometheum's prowess for destruction was the right path to follow. Iris, I have eyes on the bridge. Great. You need to get me access to the navigational controls and I'll do the rest. There should be three tiers of auxiliary stations that must be bypassed first. So, oh, it must be 
be the first roadblock. And you have a jetpack. Good for you. Wait till he lands and hit him where it hurts. Taking a detour. I'm doing.
not in our favor again? Like you wouldn't believe. Those fuckers will be desperate for Prometheum now more than ever. Willing to stake everything on it. We better get ready for round two. Like Patton once said, you don't win a war by dying for your country. You win a war by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his.